doing a little update on my truck. Been driving it to work on and off, uh, seems like a couple times a week. When it's warm, I take my motorcycle. And uh, I noticed a misfire. I mean, it's, it runs beautiful. As, as long as you increase the RPM over 600, the idle, the misfire kind of goes away, at least you don't feel it. It's got acceleration, it's, it's you know, plenty of power. I mean, this thing, for, you know, three-quarter ton truck, it moves pretty good. Has, uh, has no issues, but it definitely I can feel a, a one cylinder misfiring, so I just took it for a spin to warm it up to, to be in a closed loop. I don't even know if this thing has a misfire counter. Obviously it doesn't because it would have an engine light on, and I don't. We'll see what that is. I got no P300 codes, which tells me the computer cannot even pick it up or it doesn't have a misfire counter. So I got my Auto Ingenuity Pro Line fired up. Everything looks good, there's no codes, trim lines are good, uh, everything is good, you know, no issues whatsoever. Uh, but like I said, there's no uh, misfire counter on this vehicle, it's a 99, so OBD2 is kind of primitive back then. I got a misfire pit turned on, but there's no data for it, so it's not going to help me in any way. But at least I know there's no codes, and all the fuel trims are correct. Hopefully you're seeing this. This is a secondary ignition. This is on the plug number one. And all the other ones are the same. I see no misfire. You got a perfect spark, burn time, everything. Whether I speed up the RPM or not, just snap the throttle. It's always the same on all cylinders. Which that should definitely pick up the misfire. And uh, this is on a picoscope. You don't see any crazy spikes, so this is number one here. I move it to number two. Number three, well, these are the cylinder, the numbers are different, but... Nothing strange. Alright, now it's the last one. Alright, so that's all cylinders. All of them are perfect. I don't get it. Everyone shows beautiful burn time, but I'm definitely missing missing one cylinder. It's just not. It's not. It's not running smooth. All right, let's uh, let's do compression. All right, so I got the uh, low amp uh, probe in here. On the battery cable going to start I pulled the uh, fuses for the uh, injectors. A couple fuses so the truck doesn't start. And then uh, I'm gonna do relative compression. I know the compression is good on this truck because I can hear it, but let me just floor it so the throttle's open. Start the trigger. Stop the trigger. Let's look at this waveform. Like I said, it sounds perfect, so I'm pretty sure the compression is good and looks good too. Let me zoom in. Hopefully, you've seen that. Like I said, I don't know where to go with this freaking reflection on a sunny day. Uh, yeah, I mean, this looks beautiful. There's no. Uh, There's no high or low spots. I knew the compression was good. Okay, so I put the amp probe on the uh, injector fuse. You got a fuse between two relays. You can't. I can't use the fuse body. A little device I have with the fuse in the loop. It will not fit in there. And these are for ignition, so I can't pull them out. 
kind of crazy location. Hopefully you see this. Uh, so I had to use back probes, put a low amp probe on it. So now this fuse on the Silverado actually shares the uh, ignition and injectors. Kind of silly. Five millisecond per division. So as you can see, the trigger catches the ignition and injector. Injector, that's your pulse going up and that's the length of the uh, pulse. Yeah, so here it is. Hopefully you're seeing this. So I don't see anything crazy going on here. All the lines are the same. So yeah, going screen by screen, everything is the same level. There's no spikes, there's nothing going on on this bank. Let's check the other bank. Oh, my hands are freezing. It's freaking 34 degrees outside. It sucks. Okay, so this is bank two, which is on the other side. Let me check that. Yeah. Hold on. Uh. I got a reverse. All right, I just had to reverse the clamp. Uh, as you see, this is pretty much the same on this bank. Uh, shoot, wrong way. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Milliseconds, 200 milliseconds. So you can see everything is even. The coils and the injectors, there's nothing uh, nothing strange going on here. Yeah, everything looks good. Just like the other bank. Uh, hopefully you've seen this. Sorry about the reflection, I just don't know how to shoot this camera. But every injector, every ramp is good, so there's no shorted injectors or anything. Like I said, they're all clicking, so the only other thing is that they can be clogged. But if the injector is clogged, you would have just constant misfire, not a random one. And I can feel it just... Like right now, it's not misfiring at all. There it goes. There was one. It's, it's just, uh, oh. Drives me nuts. Alright, let me do a cylinder drop test. I'm gonna unplug each coil. Let's see if, uh, if it's contributing. Oh yeah. Definitely feel it right away. Next, uh, I'm gonna do all of them. You probably can't see it, but you can hear it, the difference. Yeah, the RPM increases. Last one on this bank. Oh yeah, I can already feel it. The difference. Yeah. You can just feel the RPM going higher. Uh, Alright, let's do these. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Definitely feel the RPM and you can feel the misfire. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can't even reach anymore. Oh yeah, you can feel the RPM. So here's the last one. Oh yeah, I can feel it. All right, so every coil is definitely contributing because I can feel the uh, engine misfiring and the uh, RPM dropping on every coil. So it's kind of pointless to pulling the, pulling the plugs out. Well, I don't know what else to check. I got perfect fuel trims. 
all the coils are contributing uh, you know secondary ignition all looks perfect uh, every even the amperage on every coil looks perfect so if, if it was something with a spark it would show up on the, on the coil or on the ignition uh, injectors are all the same same amperage beautiful beautiful waveform on all of them so there's not one that's drawing you know more amperage is you know coils going bad in it they're all clicking I listened to all of them I mean if one was plugged maybe but that would just be constant misfire not random one uh, compressions good like I said fuel trims all that there's no vacuum leak or anything I freaking wasted two gallons of water spraying everywhere I didn't I don't hear any hissing nothing I can like I said I can waste time pulling all the plugs but I think that's pointless they were replaced about 20,000 miles ago and uh, I know the coils are good fuel pressure is all good because obviously when you drive this truck it's got plenty of power I mean it just drives beautifully so if there's any kind of fuel pressure issue he would uh, it would definitely come up on came up on the high rpm and uh, this thing has got plenty of power I don't know maybe some more educated people can tell me how to find this misfire it doesn't have a misfire counter um, I said I brought the spark plug tester but I know I'll be wasting my time I know the sparks got to be good but anyways guys now it's not misfiring it's just it's perfectly smooth This is what I mean, it's just, it's so random. Uh, I'm working on the horn, and my horn's not working. But I was doing it, uh, tracing the wires, looks like the switch and the steering wheel is, but that's a different issue, that's easy to fix. But on the, on the engine, yeah, now it runs silky smooth. I don't get it. Uh, there's one misfire. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just don't get it. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this truck. Like I said, I listen to injectors. I mean, they all sound beautiful. Nice ticking. Ignition, everything is perfect on the scope. If I had a bad spark plug, it would, uh, it would show rich condition on the oxygen sensor because it would be on burned fuel. If I had plugged up injector, it would show lean condition. But my uh, my fuel trims are perfect within two percent. 